Today, we are discussing this new big thing that has made social media, it is called street harassment. Women are saying that men are being disrespectful to them and cat calling them on the streets and there is a push for a law to combat this. This is something that can have men locked up for harassing women on the streets. We have someone who is a representative of Hollaback, the website that recently posted a video of a woman walking in the streets of New York City. We are an organization that supports women's rights. We are all about putting an end to this harassment. So we had one of our sisters walk through the area and you witnessed it. From what I understand, the woman walked around for about 10 hours correct? Yes, that is true. And we posted the video on YouTube and you can donate to Holla back so we can fight this street harassment. Okay, I see. Now I have a question for the other young lady. How do you feel about the street harassment video? I am disturbed by what I see. These men are ridiculous, and especially these black men doing that extra thirsty behavior. It was sad. I am going to join and donate to Hollaback because this is ridiculous. Women are not mandated to respond if a man gives them a compliment. So when a man speaks to me and he is being nice and respectful, I don't always respond because people are sick. I am a woman before anything else and I will be respected. Okay and now I would like to know a man's perspective on this street harassment deal. Sir, what are your thoughts on the video? First off, let me make it clear to everyone sitting here that I feel that harassment of any kind is wrong. But I do have a problem with that video and other subsequent videos that I have seen with this street harassment deal. New York is very diverse, but yet you see only black men. You saw Puerto Rican men too but many of them are black so let's not play games. Is this another one of those, the black man is the bogeyman movements? Are you to tell me that there were no other men who were saying things to this woman? I resent that last statement, sir. Why are you making this out to be a racial issue? Yes, I don't see it as a racial issue either. But men need to stop doing this. You know something, it is amazing that you say I am the one making this a racial issue. Yet, when you read the comments to this video and other videos, I see some of the most racially insensitive things being said about black men, like we all just are lustful and can't control how we talk to a woman. Besides, that footage looks edited and it sounds like some of those guys are with microphones. It doesn't matter the race of the person, wrong is wrong. Actually, we do have an article that identified some things. This video is collaboration between Hollaback and Robles Creative. They were well aware of this video being edited. They edited out all of the white guys. When Bliss was questioned about white guys in the video he said we got a fair amount of white guys, but for whatever reason, a lot of what they said was in passing, or off camera, or was ruined by a siren or other noise. You have to believe that people are slow to tell them that one. It is an insult to my intelligence to tell me that the footage went bad on all the white guys. I read about that too. No, the black woman on this couch called out black men but white men were in the video too. Actually the video that was by Jessica Williams from the Daily Show showed men of all races saying some things but it did not garner sympathy because this was a black woman who led this charge. How do you feel black woman knowing that white men were in the video too? I still say street harassment is wrong. You do realize that you are like a chicken siding with Colonel Sanders. Where were these white women when Dominique Strauss-Kahn was accused of rape by the black maid? Because she was a so-called illegal alien, they said she more than likely was lying about being raped. The woman who said she was raped by the Duke lacrosse team. Where were these white women when Dr. Ursula Dor was being slammed to the ground by campus police at the university that she teaches at? Renisha McBride was shot in the face. White feminist groups said nothing. They are not your friend. Racial profiling is street harassment if you really want to go there with it. Trayvon Martin was walking down the street and thought Candy and T and was shot in the chest. These white supremacist females back up his death being mocked. Eric Garner wasn't bothering anyone and he was choked to death, Marlene Pinnock being beaten in the streets by the California Highway Police. 
The police officer in Oklahoma Daniel Holt's law now has 10 charges against him for sexually assaulting women during traffic stops. Black women were involved with that situation. Mike Brown being shot down in the streets while walking with a friend. Not to mention, the stop and frisk situation in New York. You know what I call all of that. What do you call that? Street harassment. Any black woman that sides with the racist white femi Nazi to criminalize black men is a traitor. This does not make you immune to white supremacy. I must give praise to the black women who are smart enough not to fall for this old trick of divide and conquer. They are showing you this now. Didn't they just shoot up a vehicle when Ariana Full and her five children were inside of their minivan in New Mexico not too long ago? Janice Pitts was murdered brutally in Douglasville, Georgia by a young 23-year-old white man and these women's rights groups never side with you. We have a black man that supports the fights against street harassment. It is not a race thing. One black man. Oh yeah that got put on blast too. You all are full of it. Show the picture. You all photoshopped this. How dishonest can you be? Shout out to Tariq Nasheed for this. Holler back. What is wrong with you all? Are you some kind of fraudulent ring? Will you look at this? You photoshopped a black man's head onto a white man's body and darkened the photo. That is not a good look. What are you all doing with the money you get? And we see in the bottom right hand corner, the original picture of the black man. But the black man's picture that is photoshopped standing next to the white woman looks obvious. Look at his head on the body, and now look in the lower left hand section of the white man. The pose is exactly the same. There is no way in hell they have the exact same pose and the exact same neck. Look at the black man's t-shirt and look at the white man's t-shirt. The exact same creases. Please stop. Your credibility and your agenda is questionable. And you will use black women, like the one sitting next to you and she has no idea that she is being played by women like you and your organization. Somebody just got busted. I am glad that most black women are not falling for the bait. You just proved everything that I just said. You keep putting up images of the same people and unsuspecting folks will use their deductive reasoning and equate street harassment with black men bothering white women. Women should be able to walk down the street and wear what they want and not be bothered as you say. But no black child should be murdered because they have on a hoodie either. But let's not be hypocrites because your racism just reeks when you ignore black women who have to bury their slain children when the system justifies them being murdered. You make feminism look like nothing more than the handmaiden female foot soldiers of white supremacy.